Hey guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. This one I'm gonna be showing you how to bevel your cutters, uh, your circle cutters or other cutters to create kind of like a, you know, bevel around the cut, around your bullion. And I'll show you how to do it with a box cutter and with vanilla blender, okay? Just quick two words before we start, guys. There is a Patreon for Blender Bros. We run it together with Josh. Awesome three tiers. Tons of toots, decals, trim sheets coming next month. Also an amazing uh, new concept model coming next month as well. This month we got spaceship and game assets. So check us out. Link in the video description. So let's grab a cube and let's just drop it in here. And we're going to bevel it. So bevel it and add weighted normals with uh, with hard ops by pressing alt mark shop let me just uh, enable screencast key so you can see what i'm doing okay so now we're going to go to d uh, with box cutter select not box circle and we're going to simply cut it so when you cut something normally you're gonna receive something like this yeah so it's a very straight cut without any bevel around it and if you're baking something or create you know some uh, trim sheets and you want to get some uh, maps for it or whatnot or high poly to low poly whatever you preferably want something like this because it will read better in a normal map in fact if you're gonna leave that hole open here you, you might want to do something like this so it's a bit you know a bit of a taper this will simply read better in a in a an, on a normal map so now in order to apply this uh, or create a bevel normally what you will need to do is sharpen this and then go you know and run new loops here because if you're going to uh, run a bevel on you know on this edge here as such you will see that you're going to get problems right and the reason for it is that simply the angle of this uh, connecting loop here is not really great for running bevels right so if i select um select this and this with shift and bevel it this is what you're gonna get but that's a lot of work you know you can automate this so let me show you how to automate this with blender with and without box cutter the first method is going to be with box cutter so what i'm going to do is simply run a bull and then hold shift and click to shift it to life and then select the top face go to q hold control and click on mark and this is what i'm going to get right so i can keep editing this cutter here and you're going to get some you know interesting shapes like this now if you wanted to do it manually uh, with blender I'm gonna create the first cut with box cutter because that's the same thing as I, you know, as I would get if I was using a cylinder cut. Now the thing is that what you really need for this is to have the cutter right um, being kind of flush against the surface, right? So you wanna you know bring it as close to the surface as possible. Can be sticking out a bit, but you know, kind of flush. Now if we're going to you know try to bevel this with Ctrl B, you see that it doesn't work. It bevels inwards, meaning what we need to do is flip the face, right? So we need to flip the normals from pointing outside to inside. And then, you know, when you bevel this, boom, magic happens, right? So that's how you do it with uh, vanilla blender. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did, and if you don't have box cutter or hard ups. Uh, there are links in the video description to these add-ons, so grab them because they're amazing. Thank you for watching, catch you next one.